Hey guys, today I have a Cisco ASA5506 that is no longer booting. Uh, when you apply power to the device, you just sit here and get a status LED blinking, nothing over the uh, serial port, um, and the device does pretty much nothing. Um, this appears to be affected by the LPC clockout zero failure that happens about uh, 18 months of constant power on in these Intel Aviton C, uh, I think it's like 2700 series processors. Um, now while LPC is a legacy technology, there are different things that use those clock signals uh, during the boot process of the device, uh, such as the boot ROM um, and other things to uh, set their clocks. And so pretty much what happens is the CPU is sitting here and there's nothing at all going on because there's nothing else available telling the processor to actually do anything. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, take this ASA apart and go ahead and look at uh, bypassing this issue somewhat and go from there. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. Right, so we got this ASA apart um, and we've got our Intel uh, Aviton processor here. And we're going to go ahead and uh, zoom in here on this board. And so here's um, the back side of the board where we've got our Ethernet ports. And then here's our Aviton processor. And if we go ahead, I'm actually going to grab, I'll just use uh, my little reel of uh, uh, resistors here. But if we actually look, we're going to be doing a uh, pull up to 3.3 volts from this point to the other side of this uh, chip here. And we have an 0603 uh, 150 ohm resistor you can see there um, that we're going to just simply just bridge right between those so no additional wires are needed. So I'll be back here in a minute after the repair. So I'm back here after uh, soldering this. Um, as you can see, uh, we now have a 150 ohm resistor between um, this uh, resistor here and then this point here for a 3.3 volt uh, pull up on LPC clock out zero. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this ASA um, assembled and let's see if it powers up. Alright, so we got uh, the board put back together with the heatsink. If we look here next to the CPU, you can see that we have that little pull up resistor kind of just sitting there. It is not touching the heatsink or anything, but it is uh, right there just underneath of it. But one thing I do want to point out actually is that this is a V05. ASA 5506 and what's interesting about that is that this is supposed to have had a patched clock out zero uh, Aviton CPU um, so I'm not sure how that is possible but again let's uh, go ahead and do this for the uh, first time and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually shut the light off and we're gonna go ahead and plug this board in and let's oh yeah it looks like it's booting uh, previously, we would not see any of the post bits or the system status uh, changing on boot. And if this orange light goes solid, uh, it is booting into the ASA code, which is a great sign. Um, so this ASA is repaired. Now, I'm not going to say it's fully repaired because, again, that LPC clock has degradation over that 18 month period. Um, so it's probably, if we were to put the oscilloscope on it, you know, it's probably not a perfect clock signal. But from what it looks like, oh yep, there it goes, there it just went solid. Um, pretty much, it's probably not a perfect signal, but it's at least enough to get the boot ROM uh, able to be uh, signaled and uh, controlled. Uh, so we'll get this put back together and we'll just verify that it boots. Um, but yeah, it looks like we are fully booting this ASA is back to working. So we're gonna go ahead and power up the ASA now. Uh, this is it back together. Yeah, and I'm probably not be able to see that down there. You can still see that little uh, resistor there, but the ASA is booting, and we're gonna go ahead and get connected in via PuTTY uh, with a uh, serial cable and validate that it is working. Okay, so we are back. Uh, we have the ASA, it is fully powered on. We are connected via a USB serial console to my laptop here. And as you can see, uh, we are booted. Uh, we have our Intel Atom, we have the flash, everything's looking good there, and we can increase in lines and all the other uh, fun stuff there, so um, it's working. Interestingly enough, uh, though, um, I bought this ASA a couple years ago on eBay, um, and what was interesting about it uh, was that the bottom label on the ASA uh, shows that it is a version 5, 
but also the serial number is a JMX202. We go here and we look, the serial number that I have on this ASA is definitely not JMX202. Uh, so what it looks like is that somebody bought a new firewall, swapped the boards on it, took the good board, popped it in there, I say, put the bad one in here, um, and then attempted to make a uh, quick buck by doing a V05, because the V01, 2, and 3 are susceptible to the clock failure, which is why I thought it was so weird that this one was emitting the exact same issue, but uh, I guess that goes to show. Uh, check your serial numbers and make sure things match up when you do uh, receive your product. Um, so with that, uh, this ASA is good to go. Um, it's good to be uh, reconfigured now because I'm going to pop this in the back in the rack in an HA with my existing firewall and go from there. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you guys enjoy these uh, short repair clips, uh, feel free to let me know. Um, again, these are just quickly added together. I'm not you know, trying to make a major or strolled out video like some other uh, YouTubers do. Um, but if you guys do uh, like content like this, feel free to let me know below. Uh, again, uh, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.